now, hopefully you can see, here's my first piece of tape, here's the second piece of tape on a bass, here's the third piece of tape. Keep in mind that this third piece of tape on the G string is our C natural. And then this fourth piece of tape is where we learned our, our high D. So you remember the, may remember the D major scale. And then you shift up with middle finger in between third and fourth tape, which gives you C sharp. And then all four fingers down on your fourth piece of tape gives you your high D. And that's the D major scale. But we're going to look at the C major scale for the bass. And this first note in the C major scale is a C natural. So C natural is two fingers on the A string, and those two fingers end up about halfway between the first tape and the second tape. Remember to make a C shape, get those fingers spread apart, and use that thumb behind the bass to push pressure this way, and use the fingers to pull, because boy, these are great big old strings, and we can pluck, and we get C natural. So you can see that two fingers on the A string. Next note we have is D. And so on the bass, that's open D. Our next note, you can write a number one above that to help you remember that it's one finger on the D string, which gives us the note E. So let's do the first three notes. We have C natural, two fingers on the A, D natural, open, E, first finger on the D string, and now on the fourth note, circle the fourth note in measure one, and that is also an F natural. Here's the sign for natural, so you may even want to write that above that note if you printed this off. And F natural and C natural are both in the same place. However, F natural is on the D string with two fingers. And our C natural starting note is on the A string with two fingers. So I'm going to play measure one. Go C natural, open D, one finger on the D string, two fingers on the D string, gives us F natural. Now I'm looking at measure two, open G, and then A is one finger on the G string, and now this is the part that I want basses to pay specific attention to. You see the number two above the note B. Normally, you would play B with four fingers on the G string. But in this case, when you have a two above it, that's telling you something specific. Usually, if you see a number written in the music, that is a sign that says, hey, something's going on here. Pay attention. And in this case, that's telling you that finger two needs to move up to the note B. So we're shifting from index finger on the note A, one finger on the G string, and then we're shifting to two fingers on the G string with our second finger touching on that second piece of tape, giving us the note B. And then our next note is C natural. So we've already shifted into position. So all we have to do is put finger four down to play C natural. Let me play for you measures one and measure two without stopping. Shift second finger to B, pinky finger, really all four fingers are now pushing down on the third piece of tape. Now I'll play measure three and measure four. Please note that the third note in measure three has a one above it, and that's indicating to you, hey, move your first finger back to where A normally is. So let me start on measure three and play measure three and measure four. Shift to one, to A, here's open G, two fingers on the D string for F natural, one finger for E, open D, and two fingers for C natural. Now we have the arpeggio, so we're looking at the last two measures here. So the arpeggio is going to be two fingers on the A string, followed by one finger on the D string for E, open G, and then you'll just shift your fourth finger down to C natural. So I'm going to play the fifth measure, which is the arpeggio. 
Here's C. Index on the D string for E. Open for G. Pinky finger on the third piece of tape for C natural. And now I'll play the last measure, which we're just going down the arpeggio. Here's the whole exercise. You can pluck along with me. Shift, pinky on C, there's measure three. Shift back, finger one, first finger on the G, open G, F natural, E, D, C natural. Here's the arpeggio. Finger four goes to the third piece of tape. Now, once you know those notes, you can also practice thirds in C major. That one's a, a little more difficult. And um, the, the testing that we'll have on this next week will be to just play measures one through six. But it's not going to hurt to go ahead and try these other ones. Here is thirds in C major. You get the idea of that. Um, you can go ahead and try a natural minor for fun. And, and that one's pretty easy. That just starts on the open A string instead of starting on C. The notes for C major and A minor are the same notes. However, it starts on A instead of C. So we, even though we have, let's say, the same ingredients, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C, when you start those ingredients on a different note, it creates a different sounding scale. So here's the same notes, but I'm going to start on A, and it's going to play the A natural minor scale which is a kind of a sadder sound. And A natural minor is really fun to, to mess around with. You might can create your own kind of sad sounding song with it, or there's lots of things that, even though it's a natural minor scale, it may not sound so sad, but um, you can improvise just by picking different notes out of there. And you know, you're getting your fingers moving around, you're playing notes, but then you're also able to be creative. So let me improvise something on the A natural minor scale since there's really just these eight notes and there's no shifting to have to worry about. So I'm gonna start with one finger on the G string A. 